All right. Let's talk about some order guide updates. Um, so we came back and noticed while we were gone, there were some updates to the order guide for the Mach-E. Uh, so they updated and changed the wording that says Blue Cruise 1.2 uh, is now called Ford Blue Cruise 1.3 uh, in the order guide. So that's been changed. Also, there was a couple options on the select ver on the select trim that were available as options and they have now been moved to the late availability on the select and that is the 19 inch shadow silver painted aluminum wheel with the high gloss black painted arrow covers and the black painted steel roof those two options uh you actually can't order right now we should try it on jeff's order and you can't do that so Aww. there you go all right so some other ones that so at the beginning of every month they usually they'll like update or revise something if they notice something was wrong or needed to be updated and on the bronco sport uh, the 23 Bronco Sport F-150 and Explorer had some updates. Uh, there's some 24s as well. We'll get into those in a second. On the 23 Bronco Sport, they changed the wording uh, to say second row seat back carpeted with rubberized seat mat. So technically, the seat back of the Bronco Sport isn't a it, before it said rubberized seat back. And that's not actually accurate. It's a carpeted seat back with a mat that snaps into place on the back. So if you guys have a Bronco Sport, you know what I'm talking about. So they just updated that. Uh, it only took them a couple years, but they finally remembered knew that. So they they updated that anyway. Um, the F-150 uh, also deleted the two the option for the heated steering wheel removal because it's not needed now because heated steering wheel is back, as well as the auto start stop removal option. So those were been removed from the order guide, as well as and the order guide is the information for dealers to help customers uh, order a vehicle uh, years ago we didn't have a building price on a website for you to go out and check and everything and then give that to a dealer instead you went down and you sat down with a dealer with the order guide and you specced out your vehicle um, and so so you knew exactly what was going to be on your vehicle um, that's usually i did my videos since 2015 my complete guide videos going off the order guides to help people go through that process and so they knew what was on their vehicles so um all right the explorer uh, they added the option, the credits for the 360 degree camera and the reverse brake assist. So those are now removed um, options and they've included the credit. So that way you can get your credit on those. Um, and they also deleted the security code delete. So now we, the keypad can be on it, the door. So that's the one that has the swipe one, not the keypad like the Maverick has. So there you go. For those that are going, wait a minute, they get theirs back, but we don't. It's different. It's integrated into the P pillar. All right. On the 24 uh, order guides, uh, the Expedition was updated, the Mustang, Bronco Sport, Ranger, and Super Duty. And I will tell you right now, Super Duty, I could not figure out what was different. Um, all the packages pages were new, and uh, they they put those in there. So I don't know. I went through line by line and could not figure out what was changed on them. But anyway. All right. But on the Expedition... They did revise the audio description to now include AM radio. Uh, they originally it was just FM radio. It is AM FM radio now. They also removed the dual headrest rear entertainment system we talked about a couple weeks ago not being available. And they also revised the third row USB ports. Um, you're supposed to get one USB type A on each side. They actually said two on each side. It's supposed to be two total, one on each side. So they revised that. So little things like this, but hey, I want to keep you guys in. I'm interested in it. So, all right. On the Mustang order guide, they actually put in that it was an extra charged paint color for the yellow splash. We talked about that not too long ago. They also updated the description for the Sync 4 to include the information on demand panel, uh, the cloud connected, the app link with app catalog, wireless, Android Auto, and Apple CarPlay. The digital owner's manual, they included all those into that description. They also included um, wheel images. They added those to the order guide. And they also updated the Copilot 360 Assist Plus package wording. So there's a bunch of things that were just in different places. They kind of rearranged it a little bit and changed it up. I kind of have both of them here. So the adaptive speed control with uh stop and go is what it said now they've they moved some things where it said lane centering assist and intelligent speed assist and productive speed assist that was down below the fourth dot they moved it up so they just rearranged some things but everything's the same in the way of what features are included in that package they just rearranged the wording a little bit so it made more sense to what some of the other models have and then on the bronco sport they updated the seat back again from the 24 
so that they got that right, as well as they added, because this year they had removed the keypad on the Bronco Sport like they did with the Maverick. So now they have added to the order guide a dealer installed option for illuminated door entry keypad. Not just door entry keypad, but illuminated. So I'm wondering if it's going to be the same as it is on the uh, Maverick. So we did notice the price of that, that on the Maverick was like really expensive. Um, was like, well, not really expensive, like $230, which was like $100 more than the one you can get on Ford Accessory website. And I'm wondering if it's because it's illuminated. I don't know. guess we'll find out at some point. Anyway, um, let's see here. Ranger order guide updated. Uh, just a small thing. The Ranger Raptor we talked about, you couldn't get the spare tire lock as a dealer installed option. So they removed it from the order guide. So it, these are things that... Hey, they told they're telling dealerships these no longer available, whatever. Now they're just updating the order guides to reflect that information. Um, and then the other one is on the uh, I think on like an XL and XLT. There's a cargo management rail system that's not available with your tonneau box cover. Um, now also they added that it's not available with the pivot box cover as well. So or the pivot box storage box because it gets in the way of the rails uh they also added the running boards to the fx4 package that we talked about earlier so there you go 